What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is me, the Crypto Nico, and today we're going to talk about Cardano ADA. What exactly is going on? A lot of people are, are wondering, like, it, why is it the Vasile hard fork didn't do anything, like, as far as positive price action? Well, there's a lot to really kind of look at here. It's not just, you know, Cardano that's undertaking such big hits, but there are others. There definitely are others. But before we get into it, hit that subscribe button, like it, share it out. Put it everywhere that you can. We appreciate you here on the channel. You guys rock, really. You guys really, really rock. Thank you for being so amazing. Let's go ahead and see what exactly uh, the market is doing today. So, man, Cardano, what is going on? Holy moly. So, we had a dip and then another big dip. And then here... Just like Shiba Inu, it dumped and recovered. But, I mean, it just, as Shiba Inu is going sideways and a little bit down, this is like, boom! Lower on the RSI scale than Shiba Inu. But what is happening to Cardano? Why is it Cardano itself is being sold off? It makes you wonder what, you know, what's, what's happening in the ecosystem, what are happening... Behind closed doors, why this coin? It's trading at 35 cents, whereas Shiba is at four zeros at 1007. Oof, okay. Um, chart's not looking great on either side, but Shiba is looking better than Cardano. Completely unrelated tokens, but I just figured to show that it, it kind of dro is dropping that correlation, right? Because you know, Cardano is moving down and Shiba's more like sideways at this point. Okay, now let's look at uh, nomics.com, see what the general market's doing. And as you can see, everybody's just kind of chilling. Everyone's chilling. No one's really moving around. Biggest gainers Time Wonderland, 12.85%. Lido, Pancake Swap. And your biggest losers, Frax Share, Quant, and Eunice, said Leo. Now, let's see what the news is for today. So, crypto price today, October 20th, Cardano and Shiba Inu plummet. So, what they're saying is the market's facing major sell-off due to hawkish macroeconomic conditions. Bitcoin fell by, that's not a big deal, 0.08%, oh, you know, please. Bitcoin has erased all gains from the surprise post-CPI rally, okay? Remember, the altcoins are facing major brunt of crypto winter. Cardano is one of the biggest losers of the crypto market. Fell by 3% and is trading at RS2898. Fell close to 9% in the last 24 hours. It continues to be one of the most volatile cryptocurrencies in the market. Ethereum has gone down 2%. Okay, Solana, oof, 5%. Now, it's pretty interesting that Solana is doing better than Cardano. Solana falling 5%, Cardano falling 9 and uh, Solana is like, it has like some really, uh, really bad stuff going on with it where it would just shut down and it would halt transactions and I mean, it just, I don't know. I, I don't think Solana should be outperforming Cardano. That's kind of crazy to me. But yeah, um, that's that's crazy. So macroeconomics has a big player in here, as, as we you know, as we see multiple times. You know, gas prices and energy costs. I mean, we we kind of predicted this on this channel. Hey, you know, I kind of gave you the information. Hopefully, you guys listened. Macroeconomics, it's a big deal. You know, w when you see what's happening in the world, where people are just fumbling and falling and fumbling and falling, and people can't pay their gas and their electricity bill. It's a stark reminder that, listen, I mean, sure, you could try to remain positive, but at the end of the day, you know, these are very, very, very real circumstances that can impact financial mechanisms and financial coins and financial markets. You know, it's easy to live in a bubble and say, well, it's not happening it's, and it won't happen to me, but be realistic, right? I did say these next three months are going to be pretty critical in crypto and we're already all the way through the first month 
right? You know, the 20th of October. Next month is the next one, right? In December, I mean, things will get worse, unfortunately. At least my opinion, not financial advice. But my opinion, things are going to get worse. You will see people don't get hungry, and you're going to see people struggle to heat their homes. And that's going to cause panic. Panic equals panic selling. Get it? So, what I would recommend is you have a bag on the side. You have some money on the side that's ready to go. You're ready to just deploy it. And then when those dips happen, it was in the position to go ahead and buy. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm the Crypto Nico. Thank you very much for watching this content. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, and share it out. I appreciate you more than you know. Thank you for watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.